pumpkin roll cake is the quintessential fall dessert that will fill your house with the aroma of warm, rich spices. We'll show you the technique and share a few tricks to make this cake a success. Let's get rolling. We'll preheat the oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit and prepare the baking pan. We're using a jelly roll pan that's 15 by 10 inches in size. We'll coat it well with cooking spray, then line it with parchment or wax paper, and coat it again, this time using a cooking spray with flour in it. This will help the cake to come out of the pan without much sticking. Now let's beat three eggs with an electric mixer on high for five minutes. Take your time, we're beating in a lot of air into the eggs, which will make the cake nice and light. Gradually beat in one cup of sugar and watch how the eggs thicken up almost instantly. Let's stir in two thirds of a cup of canned pumpkin and one teaspoon of fresh lemon juice. For the dry ingredients, to three quarters of a cup of flour, add two teaspoons of ground cinnamon, one teaspoon of baking powder, a half teaspoon of salt, and a quarter teaspoon of ground nutmeg. Give this a stir and then fold into the pumpkin mixture. Now let's spread the cake batter inside the prepared jelly roll pan, making sure it reaches into the corners and is evenly leveled off. Sprinkle the top with one cup of chopped walnuts or your favorite nuts. We'll bake the cake in the preheated oven until it springs back when lightly touched. This will take about 15 minutes. Turn the cake out immediately onto a kitchen towel, generously dusted with confectioner sugar, and peel off the paper. Using the towel, roll up the cake, starting with the short end, and cool completely. While the cake is cooling, let's make the filling. We have six ounces of softened cream cheese in a mixing bowl. Let's add one cup of confectioner sugar, a quarter cup of softened butter, and a half teaspoon of vanilla extract. We'll beat this together with an electric mixer until light and fluffy. And we're back to the cake. Let's unroll it carefully and spread the cream filling over the top, leaving a one inch border all around. Now roll the cake back up, cover, and chill in the refrigerator until served. All the flavors of fall are rolled into this delectable dessert. Finish it off with a light dusting of confectioner sugar and you're good to go.